my thumbs up and a green light. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. Welcome to our last qualification match for the Finn District event this year. We're looking at the Red Alliance at the moment. They're moving pretty autonomous, just like their Blue Alliance counterparts. They get points for just leaving their community. However, they can go back into it if they wish to score additional game pieces. 1501 Team Thrust sitting pretty on the top of their charge station, scoring extra points for their alliance. 1501 is the team to watch. They're your currently first ranked seed team. Throwing a cube off the charge station, saving that for later, they'll come back to it. Making use of their loading dock and their human player to grab a cone and then make their way over to their grid. Plenty of cubes still left on the field from when the game started. Each robot can start with a game piece and they choose an additional game piece to set out in the center of the field. Once those pieces are exhausted, they'll have to grab them from their human player. 7617, that's Roboblazers from Carmel, Indiana, making use of their robot to place the cone on top of their grid. They're lining up position. We'll have to check back later to see if they are successful. 3890, moving around cones just by pushing it, making it easier access for their team members. 8564, that's the Disco Ducks, causing havoc in the center of the field. Bumper on bumper contact is allowed as long as it's kept to a minimal. 1501, hindered by the Disco Ducks, just like we were taking a moment ago to look at. 5188, that's Area 51 Robotics, making use of their swerve drive to quickly maneuver around their op opponents. Each team is trying to minimize their cycle time, or the time between picking up a piece and scoring it. The Red Alliance, sitting currently with one link completed, they're looking to get five at the moment for that ranking point bonus. 45 seconds are remaining in our match. 8564 has been causing havoc on all the Red Alliance players, preventing them from scoring additional game pieces. That might prevent them from getting the links they need for that ranking point. 6721 trying to stay, change the status quo by completing a link for the Red Alliance. They might just be able to do it in the final time remaining in the match. 20 seconds, we're in what's known as the end game. The robots are making their way towards their charge stations. If they can get into a level configuration, they can score additional points for their alliance. Both teams are happy with what they're looking for here at end game. Both teams with two robots level on their charge station, gaining 10 points each for each robot that's up there. That was the end of qualification match, 56. And here are your scores for your last qualification match. The winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 120, Dubu Alliance 43, unfortunately not quite getting the ranking points that they wanted. 1501 dropping to the second position, but still good picking for Alliance selections, which we'll see just here in a moment.